today I've got a really nice problem from the 2008 Argentina Math Olympiad, and it involves one of my favorite functions, the floor function. So our goal is to determine all real numbers x, such that the floor of 2x plus the floor of 3x plus the floor of 7x equals 2008. Okay, so our strategy will be to decompose any real number x into its integer part and its fractional part. So we could do that as follows. So let's take x in R and then we'll write x as n plus something that I'll call epsilon, where n is an integer, whereas epsilon is a number between 0 and 1. We can include 0, but not 1. And now let's maybe notice that under this setup, what we have is that the floor of x is equal to n. Okay, nice. Another thing that we have is that x itself comes from the half open interval from n to n plus 1. So that's including n, but not n plus 1. And now I think we could maybe just do this really like systematically by looking at cases. And in essence, that's what we're going to do. But I'd like to lay it out a little bit more visually. So in order to do that, I need to get a big number line on the board. So let's get that on the board. Okay, there we've got it. We've got our number line starting at n, ending at n plus 1, including n, but not including n plus 1. And so what we're taking here is for our solution x to be somewhere on this number line. But now we're going to break this number line into pieces. And you might say, well, which pieces? Well, that's going to be maybe like inspired by this 2x, 3x, and 7x. And that's because the floor of 2x will change depending on if x is between n and n plus 1 half, or if x is between n plus 1 half and n plus 1. That's because the 2 will tick that over to a larger integer. We're also going to need to break it up into 1 third pieces because of this 3x and 1 seventh pieces because of that 7x. Okay, so let's start by breaking it into half. So let's see, I think right in the middle is about right here. So I'm just going to put a 1 half here instead of an n plus 1 half just to maybe keep it a little bit simpler to look at. Okay, so there's our 1 half. And now let's put a third on the board as well. So let's see. I think a third will be about like this. So there will be 2 thirds and over here will be 1 third. Okay, so something like that. And now let's also get one sevenths on the board as well. So now we've got our one seventh tick marks on the board and that motivates for how we should split this into pieces. So let's start over here with these calculations to see what we get. So if X is in this region, what do we have? Well, then the floor of 2 times x will just be equal to 2 times n. That's because x is equal to n plus epsilon, and epsilon in this region is less than a half, which makes, makes 2 epsilon less than 1. And then likewise, the floor of 3x will be equal to 3n for the same sort of argument, but with 3 times epsilon. And finally, the floor of 7x will be equal to 7n for the same reason. But what does that turn our equation to? So we've got floor 2x plus floor 3x plus floor 7x will be 2n plus 3n plus 7n. That is 12n. But we need that to be equal to 2008. But if you divide by 12 here, you'll see that n is not an integer. That means we have no solution in this region here. You can quickly see that n won't be an integer because the left-hand side is a multiple of 3, whereas the right-hand side is not, just by the sum rule for multiples of 3. So 
2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8 is 10. That's not divisible by 3. Okay, so now let's move on to this next region. And I'm going to like move this over a little bit because we're going to need more room for some of these in the middle. Okay, so what do we have here? So here we'll have floor of 2x is equal to 2n. We'll have floor of 3x is equal to 3n for the same sort of reason that we had talked about. But in this case, we'll have floor 7x is equal to 7n plus 1. That's because epsilon is between 1 over 7 and 2 over 7. So if you multiply it by 7, you'll get something between 1 and 2. But now if you add these up, we'll see that we get 12n plus 1 equals 2008. But notice we immediately get no solution here as well. That's because the left-hand side is odd, whereas the right-hand side is even. We'll have the floor of 2x is still equal to 2n. That's because our epsilon is still less than a half. We'll have the floor of 3x is still equal to 3n. That's because our epsilon is still less than a third. Here we're not including the thing on the right. And then finally, our floor of 7x will be 7n plus 2 now. That's because epsilon is between 2 sevenths and 3 sevenths. So now adding all of this up, we'll see that 12n plus 2 is equal to 2008. Okay, but that means that 12n is equal to 2006. But now we can play the same game that we did over here for divisibility by 3. The left hand side is divisible by 3 because it's a multiple of 12, but the right hand side is not because the sum of 2, 0, 0, 6 is equal to 8, but 8 is not a multiple of 12. So that means here we also get no solution. So this might seem kind of like a bummer so far because we haven't gotten any solution, but remember that's important information to have. Okay, so now moving on to this next region where things are going to start changing a little bit. Okay, so let's see what we have in this region. We're still less than a half, so the floor of 2x is 2n, but now the floor of 3x is equal to 3n plus 1. That's because we're between a third and two thirds. But let's see, the floor of 7x will be equal to 7n plus 2 again. Now we add all of these up and we'll get 12n plus 3 is equal to 2008. But again, there's no solution. That's because the left hand side is odd, whereas the right hand side is even. Okay. So now moving in this region right here, below one half. Okay, so now we'll have the floor of 2x is equal to 2n, the floor of 3x is equal to 3n plus 1, the floor of 7x is now different, it is 7n plus 3, because we're bigger than 3 sevenths. So now we add these up and what will we get? Well, we'll have 12n plus 4 is equal to 2008. Okay, well, what does that tell us? That tells us that 12n is equal to 2004. And in fact, here what we'll get is n is equal to 167. So it turns out that x is on the following inter interval. So its integer part is 167. And then its fractional part is between 3 sevenths and 1 half. So that means we have 1, 6, 7 plus 3 sevenths. And then 1, 6, 7 plus 1 half. And it's a half open interval. Okay, so there, we finally have a solution. So let's maybe put a nice underline under that so that we know we have a solution. And now let's move on to the next portion. And that'll be this bit right here where x is between half and four sevenths. But that's gonna be exactly the same starting calculation as this one, except we'll have two x is equal to two n plus one because we've bridged that gap above one half. 
but that means our leftover bit will always be odd, but that means we'll have this odd number equals an even number scenario again, which means we'll have no solution. I'll let you work out the details if you need to, but I'll just pinch this one off and say there is no solution based off of that calculation that we talked about. Okay, so now let's see what's happening between 4 sevenths and 2 thirds. Okay, so in this region, 2x floor is equal to 2n plus 1, and then 3x floor is equal to 3n plus 1 because we're still less than 2 thirds. And then finally, 7x floor will now be 7n plus 4 because we're above 4 sevenths. Okay, so now let's add all those together and we'll have 12n plus 6 is equal to 2008. But that means that 12n is equal to 2002. But again, we quickly see that there is no solution here because the left-hand side is divisible by three, whereas the right-hand side is not. Okay, so now let's move on to our next region, which is between two-thirds and five-sevenths, and we'll see very quickly that there's no solution here as well. And that's because our floor of 2x will be 2x plus one, our floor of 3x will be 3n plus two, sorry, that should have been 2n plus one, and then our floor 7x will be equal to 7n plus 4. But now the leftover bits are odd again, just like in this scenario right here, we'll have 12n plus an odd number equals 2008, but an odd number cannot be equal to an even number. So like I said, there's no solution in this region either. Okay, so that moves us into this region between 5 sevenths and 6 sevenths, and let's see what we get there. So here we'll have floor of 2x is 2n plus 1, floor of 3x is 3n plus 2, and floor of 7x is 7n plus 5. Adding those all together, we get 12n plus 5 plus 1 plus 2 is 8, equals 2008. But in the end, we get 12n equals 2000. But now there's also going to be no solution for that because of the same divisibility by three trick. But now let's see what happens when we move to this six over seven. Well, the seven x will now be seven n plus six when we take its floor. But now we have this whole problem where these leftover parts add to an odd number, but that means we cannot sum up to 2008. So that means we also get no solution over here. So after all of that work, we see that we only have a solution in this like kind of central part right here. And the solution is in fact everything on that interval. And that's a good place to stop. Thanks for watching and sticking around until the end of the video. And since you're here, don't forget to gently press that like button. Subscribe, ring the bell, and select all notifications to never miss a video. If you want to get your name in the credits like you see here, access the live seminar series, review videos before release, and more, go to patreon.com slash michaelpinmath and become a Patreon member today. If you want full ad-free course content, subscribe to my second channel, Math Major. I've got courses on linear algebra, complex analysis, and proof writing, among several others. And that's everything. Bye.